On Monday, July 11th, President Joe Biden, Vice President Kamala Harris, and NASA Administrator Bill Nelson released the first scientific quality image taken by the $10 billion James Webb Space Telescope at the White House. According to NASA, the image is the deepest infrared vision of the cosmos to date, and it was obtained using only 12.5 hours of observation time on one of the telescope's four sensors. Today, we can officially announce that NASA's James Webb Space Telescope has produced the deepest and sharpest infrared image of the distant universe to date. Known as Webb's first deep field, this image of the galaxy cluster SMAX 0723 is overflowing with detail. This deep field, taken by Webb's near-infrared camera, NearCam, is a composite made from the images at different wavelengths, totaling 12.5 hours, achieving depths at infrared wavelengths beyond the Hubble Space Telescope's deepest fields, which took weeks. The image shows the galaxy cluster SMAX 0723 as it appeared 4.6 billion years ago. The combined mass of this galaxy cluster acts as a gravitational lens, magnifying much more distant galaxies behind it. Webb's NearCam has brought those distant galaxies into sharp focus. They have tiny, faint structures that have never been seen before, including star clusters and diffuse features. Researchers will soon begin to learn more about the galaxy's masses, ages, histories, and compositions as Webb seeks the earliest galaxies in the universe. SMAC 0723 is a particularly good target for this sort of observation because there are massive clusters of galaxies in the foreground. These act like giant cosmic magnifying glasses. Because of their immense mass, their gravity causes a pronounced curvature of the space-time around them, with the effect of magnifying light from more distant objects. NASA has already announced some of the celestial objects that space enthusiasts might expect to see in these photos. The agency revealed on Friday, July 8th, that tomorrow's event will include views of the Carina and Southern Ring nebulas, as well as Stefan's Quintet of densely packed galaxies. WASP-96b observations are also on the program, albeit JWST will not provide a picture of the distant world. Instead, scientists will prevent a spectrum of the planet, which divides light into wavelengths and provides information on the planet's chemical composition. If you want to learn more about the James Webb Space Telescope and stay up to date, subscribe to the channel to receive our daily updates. Thanks for watching.